Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. Season 4 has dropped and so has the comet and it has exploded all over the map and I'm going to take you on a brand new tour of all of those locations using that beautiful replay system to get all the best shots. Plus 99% of all the chest locations spawn in when you're in replay mode for some reason so that's going to be really beneficial for you guys but as you can see Dusty Depot has been nearly completely completely destroyed you can hear that comet noise coming from the crash location of the comet and as you work your way around this base you're going to notice it's like a, the whole et experience you've got all these like little space labs and experimental labs set up um, over at the storage room you've got yourself a chance of a ton of ammo crates and a ton of chests which is really useful You've got another one of those trucks that have chests in them added to this place. And this is all like black vehicles, like men in black, government stuff. This is really cool. You're going to find chests hidden all around the map on these trucks and cars. And it's not just like one new area just stuck in the map they've integrated it into the map really well you're going to find these little rock shards everywhere the places it's crashed into they're going to be half broken and i i just love how they've done this heading on over to a second area at moisty mile they've added a whole theater show this this is no longer men in black government this is filming and actors and creativity so you've got this whole filming set over here and this one is like a kind of a wild wild west you can see there's floor loot absolutely everywhere it doesn't show up and replay that much so we you get lucky if you see the floor loot but there's not many chest locations around this wild wild west area as you can see it's quite barren excuse the pun there but this is really nice it's nice to have all this new stuff guys as you can see they've got like a little seating area of logs and you can with a theater and there's a chest location just there if you head over towards the back of the map area the east side you're gonna find there's all of these like stacked crates which is brilliant for wood but moisty myers always been brilliant for wood and you're gonna find some more chest locations right east where they've got a massive filming set and green screen with a helicopter there that, that is i love this. this it reminds me of predator if you've ever seen the film i don't know if you're old enough but brilliant film when you're 18 but this is this is absolutely brilliant you got more chests on the back of it for all the structure that's holding it up and they've also added a little lake boat there with another chest on it but I'm loving all of these new locations. Uh, you've got mini crates everywhere spread out, spread out throughout the map. And they have these little glowing crystals you can pick up. And they're like anti-gravity. For a certain amount of time, they'll enable you to be able to jump like at least twice as high as you were able to. So the building's going to be crazy. And as I said, it's properly integrated these crates into the area. You can see the kitchen, the cells, everywhere has been smashed where the crate has well the crater has formed you've got another crater a mini one over at the racetrack and all of these little mini craters pretty much have a chance of free chess spawning as you can see you've got the lorry the two cars and that's where most of your free chests are going to be heading to the proper east side of the entire map just above the racetrack you've got this brand new mansion added and where has this come from guys like you you've got all these crates spawning in that explains the new areas but then you've got this beautiful secret like this is not just a mansion I'll, I'll show you the mansion first we'll get to it later but there as you can see you've got a back entrance here and then you've got the garage which gives you another entrance into the building and all of these three back doors on as i said on the back uh, exits to the building and this is going to be really useful for ducking in and out at the back side you've got this little terrace and above it you've got a nice little hidden chest there which is actually easily accessible with these little holes on either side um the house isn't that great for chests though the the middle floor has no chest locations it's just floor loot top floor has one chest and then as i said this just isn't a mansion this is a secret base with like nuclear potential like for protection you got three entrances to this base basically you got the back entrance i showed you then if you went through the house and turned right you'd find this breakable entrance and then if you went through the house and turned left you'll find this already opened entrance which will also lead you down and 
this is just amazing. You've got that symbol there, which looks a bit like the Assassin's Creed symbol. I wonder what that symbol is going to represent. Who who are these people that are building these secret bunkers? At uh, the drive-in theatre, the very northeast side of the map, you've got this drive-in theatre, which you probably saw when you got that little movie clip show up when you first logged in for the season four. And this movie theatre area is chest heaven. You've got four chests spread out just around that mini crater in itself you've got one on each car one in each lorry then you've got two in this little house here you've got one house on the east side of this location it's there's just so many chests you can the potential is unreal for filming potential because you've got these green screens now so co real advanced content creators with PCs can use those green screens in the game they can put their characters there do some like acting or whatever and they can create their own backgrounds and I think there's gonna be some crazy videos coming out soon for those editors on PC if not get in the game before everyone else does but as you can see, that is your, what would you call that, above Tomato Town location. You've also got another mini crater all the way back down at Fatal Fields. As I said, with three chests, two on the cars and then one in the lorry. And there's going to be a few of these spread out throughout the map. But one of my favourite locations they've added, look at this. They've added another disco place, but this one looks like a more permanent set building. Like, it's an entire club. You've got two chests just in the loft right there. You, again, this is another chest heaven location, and that dance floor, look at that, with the proper 3D lights underneath the floor, that looks awesome. You've got chests in every direction you go in, behind the speakers, in the toilet, in the behind the bar, and this is just... Oh, I can't get over it, guys. I keep saying how amazing all these new locations are, and it's just... The potential's unreal because you've got all these no, like, location, new locations, and the more different locations you have, the more potential for different plays, different tactics, different scenery comes into action. And like they've added just tiny little features like these mini crates. They've added another like little broken down barn just past Creasy Grove of a filming set there. Tilted Towers did end up getting hit in the end, but not with a massive crater, just a mini crater. And it completely demolished that building. Look at that building. It is absolutely wrecked. Although they didn't add any more chests, there's still the normal chests that would have been in that building. Also exposing chests that were previously hidden. If you go over to Loot Lake next door, you're going to find another rock that's crashed in there with two chests next to that. And they've just got mini crates everywhere it's it's ridiculous but again free chess at this mini crate location and this one is up at the north top of the map it's next to junk junction and they've also added this whole factory to junk junction uh, another filming set and again this one has two chests you've got one chest just up on top of the uh, storage section there and then you've got another chest just hidden in the loft here and you've also got a third chest in those, that little building next to the factory now one of the probably the best locations they've added except for the main bunker is next to this mini crate just behind Pleasant Park in front of Snobby Shores you'll head up to the mountain and you'll notice the mountains changed why, why has it now got towered mountain like the middle of the map does and you'll see this whole facial structure mansion slash bunker sticking out of the mountain and this, I, I'm, I love underground places in Fortnite, like the tunnel, like being able to make trap setups that are really unique, like pits and that are really useful. And this whole bunker is going to be amazing. I, we need more underground places to bring more plays into action. If you, if you head past the control center down the stairs, you're going to find this kind of, this is a one way entrance basically, there's no other exits, and you'll find a chest just there in the uh, bed, and you can get down to this pit as well guys, this is what I'm talking about, trap pits, you could dig all that out, create a little trap bit, impulse people in, you've got a swimming pool, we're making our way around the ground floor level at the moment, and you're going to find as you head into the kitchen, there's more chests, um, there's a little storage electrical room next door that, that has nothing in, probably some floor loot, but I, I just, I love these bunkers, they're going to be so fun to play with, and it, a lot of people are going to call it camping, but what else can you do, the bunker isn't that big, you, I, I'll run around the bunker, but I want to be able to make some plays in this place, and I, so I'm not going to leave it 
I'm gonna get some plays, running around getting trap kills in here, this is gonna be epic. If you make your way upstairs, you're gonna find a clear exit there. You might be able to block that off, create your own little mansion on top of it. And it's got one of those little wooden huts like you see in the films. It's like one of those pretend huts, you go inside and it, there's a lift that heads down and you've got yourself your chest there. But other than that, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the tour of all the new locations for the Season 4 Comic Crash. Other than that, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and have an absolutely awesome day.